two engineers and a normal person walked into a car which after turning the key a few times wouldn't start. The electrical engineer thought about checking the battery. The computer engineer suggested turning it off and on again, just like restarting a computer. The normal person however just kicked the engine. And guess what? It worked. In aviation they have a joke. If brute force doesn't work, you are not using enough of it. How many times have you smacked something broken? A fridge humming non-stop, an old washer that refuses to spin, or headphones that only work if you twist the jack just right. Frustration drives the kick, but surprisingly physics occasionally backs it up. Although I wouldn't suggest making it a habit because modern gadgets are fragile. But hey, even NASA once saved the Mars lander by commanding it to smack itself with a shovel. The following are very common reasons for devices to stop working, and why force sometimes tends to set them on the right track. Devices that rely on airflow like fans or vacuum suffer when dust or moisture builds up. Over time, dirt can stick to blades, vents or filters choking airflow. A sharp hit creates vibrations that dislodge debris, like slapping a ketchup bottle. But this is a temporary fix, because you will still need to clean it properly before the clog returns. For mechanical systems like engines, gears or pistons, they might wear down from friction, creating tiny pits or micro welds that lock them in place. A kick shakes the system, popping the stock part free, but the damage remains because metal doesn't heal, so the jam will eventually return. Old electronics like radios or TVs often fail because solder joints crack or components get loose. A whack might put a wire back into contact, like jiggling a key in a rusty lock, but bad solder joints need reflowing with heat. Fridges or AC units make noise because vibrations loosen screws or panels. Thermal expansion warps plastic parts, making them scrape. A kick temporary shifts the noisy part to a quieter position. For a real fix, you could add rubber pads or tighten screws. If someday kicking your computer fixed it, that means thermal stress likely cracked a solder joint, which is common in old GPUs. The impact briefly reconnects the circuit, but it will certainly fail again and again. So back up your data and visit a repair shop. At the end, violence was never the answer. And with modern devices getting smaller along with their circuits, hitting them is is becoming less and less effective with more chance of damaging them. So next time, try a gentle tap instead.